What is going on everybody, Snickle here, and today I'm bringing you guys a trophy guide for Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag. Trophy we will be getting is Devil of the Caribbean, which is to defeat all four legendary ships. I will show you the location of all the ships and some tips and tricks to beating each ship. Uh, these ships aren't in any specific order, just the order that I wanted to uh, fight them, and I know all of their weaknesses, so I will be talking you through it as we go, but anyway, let's get into the video. Alright, so here is the location of the first ship. This is the El Impoludo, um, and this ship is pretty easy. This is basically a man of war with a giant ram on the front. Now, the only thing I can suggest for this ship is try not to get rammed, because if you get rammed by that mega ram, you're going to uh, be depleted in health. Now, what I'm going to suggest is that you have your Jackdaw fully upgraded for all of these ships. It's going to make it very, very easy. So as you can see, he tries to come at me right there, and I just squeeze by him. And uh, another thing that I'm going to suggest is use every single one of your abilities that the Jackdaw has. So, you know, use your mortars, use your fire barrels, use your heavy shots, use your chain shots, use everything that you have. It's going to really help you beat these. So it, you're going to see in all these videos, or, or all of these battles, that I really use the mortars a lot because they really help and also if you're getting shot at just take cover you're not going to lose as much health as you would if you didn't take cover so the easiest way to beat this thing is just fight it like a normal ship but then when it starts ramming you turn in the direction that it's going and then drop some fire barrels behind you and it'll kind of slow it down and then turn off to the side and he shouldn't really hit you i mean that's the only thing i can really give you or the only information i can really give you about this ship to really help you beat it um, because it's basically a regular man of war with, you know, a, a obviously extra health and a giant ram on the front. Also, if you can try to ram it, ram it, because uh, if you have an upgraded ram all the way, the elite ram, it will take a decent amount of health off. Also, for all of these ships, minus the third one, I suggest you use your heavy shots as much as you can because uh, it will deplete the legendary ship's health a really good amount so once the once the boat gets out of your range of your regular cannons that's when you bring in the mortar and the mortar will knock out a good amount of health so as you can see here he's coming towards me so I turn the direction that he's coming towards me I drop some fire barrels I turn off a little bit to the side he can't get me and then we hit him with the heavy shot and it takes off like none of my health I didn't get any health taken off there so we're getting pretty close to beating him. The ending's a little bit bad because he kind of tries to flee away from me. I don't know why, um, but yeah, he tries to flee away. So, um, like I said, he has the ram. That's the only thing that this legendary ship has. So what I suggest is when he starts to come towards you, because you're not going to be able to outrun him. He's really fast when he starts to chase you. So when the boat starts to come towards you, that's when you want to turn in the direction that it's going, go with it, drop some fire barrels, and turn off to the side. Because when it hits the fire barrels, it will slow down the slightest bit. When it slows down, you can turn off to the side, and it won't be able to ram you. So that's the only advice I can, can really give you for this ship. Other than that, use all of your abilities to their max capacity. So as you can tell, that cannon said I hit him. I didn't. Then I shot the mortar, he escaped it, now he's starting to run away. I don't know why, none of these ships will run away, like if you have their health diminished all the way like this one, like, he's not going to escape from you, um, at least that didn't happen to me at all, so it shouldn't happen to you at all, but, um, other than that, th again, this one's pretty simple, I would highly suggest you have your Jackdaw fully upgraded with elite cannons, elite mortars, elite swivel guns, elite armor, all of the elites, um, that stuff's really easy to find, um, all you gotta do is just go to where the thing says. I mean, if you find, like, a map, it'll tell you where the elite stuff is. So there we go. We hit him with the mortar. That should kill him. And there we go. Go collect your 20,000 reales. And let's get on to the next legendary ship now. All right, so the next ships are right here. It is the Royal Sovereign and the HMS Fearless. And yes, that is right. I said ships. This is the only battle that is we're going to require you to to battle two ships so here they are and the thing is is that these are two basic man of war ships that's all they are 
But the thing is, is once you destroy one of these man of warships, the other one sets on fire. And when it sets on fire, it will try to ram the hell out of you. And when it rams you, it will deplete a shit ton of your health. Also, it will shoot fire cannons or your heavy shots at you, which will deplete your health as well. So, what kind of advice can I give you for this? Pretty basic. Like I said, only one of the ships will turn on fire when the other one is destroyed. So what you want to do is to deplete both of these ships' health at the same time. Try not to focus on just the one with the black sails or just the one with the white sails. Try to focus on both of their healths at the same time. Because if you do that and if you can deplete their health both all the way down to the minimum and then sink one and then go sink the other one real quick, you won't have to worry about the fire ship at all. Yeah, you're going to have to worry about two Man of Wars firing at you the whole time, but it's better than having one Man of War on fire that can ram you in one shot and kill you. So what I do is I kind of focus on one ship till it gets really depleted, then I hop over to the other ship. So as you can see, the Royal Sovereign here is under half, and I'm just going to keep firing at him because he's right next to me, and then I'm like, wait, the HMS is right on the other side. So I start firing at the HMS, and I'm getting torn up by their um, cans because I'm not taking cover. Um... So the, as you can see, the Royal Sovereign is basically depleted, you know, you know, one or two more heavy shots and he's going to go down. So I'm starting to worry about the HMS Fearless. And again, these are basically two Man of War ships, two level 60 Man of War ships. That's all they are. I'm not sure what they're leveled when you look at them through the spyglass, but um, from what they feel like, they just feel like two level 60 Man of War ships. They're not horrible at all um this probably is the hardest challenge of them all if you don't understand that once one of the ships goes down the other one turns to fire so that's why that's why you kind of need to know that little piece of information if you know that piece of information that if you take one ship down and the other one turns to fire then it turns it's really easy because then all you got to do is just focus your attack on one ship till you get their health really low and then focus your attack on the other ship till their health gets really low and then you can take one ship down and then take the other ship down. It's a little bit confusing, but if you play the mission, you'll understand what I'm talking about. How, And you guys will see in the video as well, that once I take the one ship down, the other one basically turns to fire and is pretty crazy. So, yeah, I mean, maybe this isn't the hardest one. The next one might be the hardest one. Um, I mean, they're all really hard if you don't know their weaknesses. So that's why you kind of need to exploit their weaknesses, and that's what I'm here to do for you guys, explain all of these ships' weaknesses. So as you can tell, I am focusing my fire on the HMS Fearless right now, um, but I think I start taking out the Royal Sovereign soon. I don't know why I fired that shot. So here comes the HMS Fearless, um, and we just fire a heavy shot on him, and I believe I fire another heavy shot. And they're all... Oh, no, I'm... Am I firing at the Sovereign? I don't... Yeah, that was a Sovereign. I don't know why his... Oh, they were white sails. I, sorry, I'm a little bit colorblind. Um, like, honestly. Well, I'm not really colorblind. Color dumb. So there you go. You can see that the other ship catches on fire. Don't let that ship ram you. If you let that ship ram you, it's going to be bad news. And like I said before, you just want to use all of your abilities. So there you go. You saw he ram me. Um, didn't take off as much health as I thought it would, but... um. Again, use all your abilities to their max. So as you can tell, I keep using the fire barrels and I actually sink him with the fire barrels. And um, each time you sink the ship, it'll drop 10,000 realis, but you can't really farm realis here. So yeah, that's bad. So go get 10,000 from each one and they'll give you 20,000 realis. But let's get on to the next legendary ship now. So the next ship is the La Dama Negra. I think that's how you pronounce it. I haven't taken Spanish in a while, but that was the location of it. And this is probably the hardest ship of them all. So why is this ship the hardest ship of them all? First of all, it has mortars, which none of the other ships have. Plus, it has a um, ship body, I guess you can call it, made out of all metal. So if you shoot at the side of the ship with your cannons, it's not going to destroy it. So how do you destroy this ship? It's very easy, actually. So you can use mortars like I'm using right now. But there's actually a really easy way to deplete the health of this ship really, really fast. So his mortars are very easy to dodge, and I actually beat this ship very fast. So what you want to do is you want to head to the back end of this ship, and you'll notice that the back end actually doesn't have armor. So as you can see, I just shot at the side there. Didn't do anything. So what do you do? You gotta go to the back of the ship, and you gotta use either your heavy shot or a regular shot. Just fire at the back of the ship, and look how fast the health goes down. The back of the ship has no armor on it, so just shoot at the back of the ship, 
and you will deplete his health. And like I said, the mortars are very easy to dodge. Um, and you can also shoot at the front of the ship like I just did there. It's not as effective as shooting as the back of the ship, but you just can't shoot on the side. And like always, use all of your abilities to their maximum. Mortars, fire barrels, heavy shots, chain shots, all of them. Um, but like I said, the mortars are very predictable. You can easily tell where they're going to go. And, uh, they're not that damaging as well. I mean, they can be pretty damaging, but they're not, you know, super damaging. So there you go. He just shot a mortar. You can tell it's coming to my left. So I just turned to my right, and guess what? All the mortars miss me except one. So he shoots another mortar off, I think, soon. And so there he goes. He shoots off another mortar. It's coming to my right. I just turned to my left. I think a few mortars hit me. <laughs> Maybe not. And then, look, his back of his ship is wide open also again if you have the chance to ram hit the back ram the back so as you can see he fired the mortars i'm just going right through these mortars because the back of his ship is wide open full speed boom that knocked off almost a quarter of his health hitting the back of his ship like that then all i gotta do is turn here give him a nice heavy shot and there he goes collect your twenty thousand realis and we can get on to the final legendary ship now so the final ship is the HMS Prince, here is the location, and honestly, out of all the ships, this is probably the easiest one. Why is this the easiest one? It's a basic Man of War, that's all it is. It might be a Man of War with a little bit extra armor, but it's a basic Man of War. All you gotta do is fight it in the fog. That's the only thing that makes this hard, you gotta fight him in the fog. The fog's not even that bad either. So if you have a fully upgraded Jackdaw, this is easy. Also, this one does have mortars. I did forget about that, but his mortars are basic mortars, so they're nothing special. Um, another thing is, this guy does have a fire shot. You guys just saw it there. He shoots all of his cannons out at the same time, but uh, it can be damaging, but it's not that bad, so try not to let it hit you. This is a very vulnerable ship. All you gotta do is hit it with regular round shots, and it will expose a lot of weaknesses that you can shoot with your swivel guns. I'm gonna leave you guys with this battle. If this video was helpful, hit the like button. If you are not subscribed, please consider subscribing, and I will see you guys around sometime soon, and I hope you enjoy the rest of the video. Take it!